Joining us now to talk about it, Tim Graham, Director of Media Analysis for the Media uh, Research Center. And it is so good to have you back with us, Tim. Uh, your take on Bridgegate and the scandal that wasn't. Well, we chronicled at Media Research Center that there were some 88 minutes of network news coverage in the first 48 hours. They, this was, they treated this story like Chris Christie had like been involved in a mass shooting. I mean, it was, the amount of attention was so out of whack. You know, well, somebody in New Jersey got stuck on a bridge for an hour and a half. Uh, how you can compare that to four Americans dying at Benghazi is bizarre, but that's the truth, is it really got more attention. It was considered more of a scandal. Chris Matthews was comparing it to Watergate. Uh, and, yes, yeah, so this is the classic case of them front-loading this scandal, and then when even the Democrats in the New Jersey legislature said, we can't prove that Christie knew about <laughs> his aides blocking, you know, uh, blocking lanes on the bridge, uh, so, Tim, the networks are like, so what? You know, part that of whole the scandal, question of how you get, yeah. Well, part of the scandal was the fact that they were saying, oh, is this political retaliation, that sort of thing. So when they find out that that really wasn't the case at all, I mean, you really don't have a story. Yeah, you have political retaliation by Christie's aides. There was a traffic jam. We'll acknowledge that. Uh, but again, this is the kind of the laugh now is we have all over the country protesters of police brutality, even protesters of low fast food wages blocking interstate highways and somehow that is a good news story <laughs> for the same news media it's kind of mind-boggling and it, it uh, adds to the evidence that we really should not call the dominant media culture the mainstream media but of course mm -hmm. the uh, left-leaning media uh, there was another scandal involving another governor uh, and that is governor cuomo of new york but what kind of coverage did that get compared with the Chris Christie Bridgegate coverage? Just about nothing. And it, it was on the front page of the New York Times again yesterday. Oh, yesterday. So it's after not like they've never heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> after, after he's safely reelected, they, they returned to the story. Yeah. Well, again, almost no Americans would have any idea about that. And, of course, you have a Cuomo anchoring the morning news at CNN, so you're certainly not going to hear about it over there. Hmm. There's about a minute left, Tim. We've known each other a long time in Washington. I, I talked about the House Republican Conference going on this morning. When there would be special elections, we would talk about the fact that our goal as Republicans would be to make sure the Washington Post would not report it to something like page A26. In other words, special election win by Republicans doesn't get attention, but if a special election is won by a Democrat for the Washington Post, it's front page attention. Is there anything that's going to change the sensibilities of these old big media uh, publications? 30 seconds left. I don't think so. I think we could be referring here to Senator Landry losing her race over the weekend which some of the networks have kind of barely noticed that it occurred. And that's because when the Democrats suggest something isn't news, surprisingly, the, the so-called mainstream media has exactly the same idea. Fair enough. Tim Graham, we thank you for your time, and America's Forum will continue right after this.